Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the presence of greatness. I have my friend Ryan here, uh, who've been doing the promotional business for quite uh, many years. Uh, Ryan started young and uh, he's still young, but uh, he gained some weight, but uh, it comes with the wisdom. He's been up and down and uh, doing uh, uh, quite a few gigs uh, almost every week. Uh, we are honored today to hear some insight information about how to become a promoter what it takes to be a promoter how to find designers models the clients the money the you know the whole production uh, uh producers like uh, when he uh, does his gigs where he finds that work and he's doing this consistently day by day that's the only thing he does uh, any of you who would like to learn and become uh, someone like Ryan, perhaps you can listen. Well, thank you very much for having me today. And yes, the events industry, it is booming, it is thriving, and uh, it's a very competitive industry as it's similar to the acting world that we're in today is you're only as good as your last acting role. You're only as good as your last event. So while we've run but festivities, you've done consistently many of them. So you, some fail, some are successful, but you're doing them consistently one by one. That's stronger than someone who does just one. Let's say Billy Bart, great friend of us, does a wonderful event, but he did only one. Amazing! Everybody came to the event. Well, I, I didn't come, but <laughs> most of the people will come. But you're doing this week by week, year by year. What it takes? Why are you doing this? It definitely takes a lot of dedication, tremendous passion, uh, constantly learning. I attend about 10 events on a weekly basis, constantly looking to grow my network, to learn innovative ideas for bringing brands to life, uh, and seeing what my competitors are doing. Uh, so, so always you, out and Do they about. steal your ideas? Do they steal your, 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 uh, uh, something that you're doing innovative? Definitely, we've, we've done a few ideas that I've seen other companies try and incorporate um, or my promoters are constantly being messaged on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So what are you doing to prevent this the next, uh, for the next one? Are you doing something special that they cannot copy? Yeah, we, we do have a really unique idea happening actually this upcoming Thursday. It's never been done before where one of our lucky attendees will end up hosting a TV show like this um, and being on the radio. So we're getting exclusive opportunities mm -hmm. uh, for these TV hosts, radio hosts. Uh, we have modeling competitions where people are going home with prizes or to be on the cover of a magazine. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're constantly innovating ideas and bringing brands but to what life. What about promotion? A lot of people can do uh, produce events. You are very unique in terms of like, people I know, you getting so many clients, so many geeks. What What's special about you? Why other people cannot do what you do? I think that a lot of it has to do with your personality and just being honest with people. So I've had clients that I've gotten, you know, gone tremendous lengths for. Um, and you always want to make people feel special. And uh, I know that you are Jewish, so the Jewish saying is, kamocha. and the translation of that is that you should treat other people the way you want to be treated. And that's the way that I live my life, is giving people respect, and that's how you get respect. So uh, the reason why I've been so successful is because I tell the truth. Uh, so if you're bringing in a under 21 crowd to a venue, you have to be very clear to the owner that way they're not selling alcohol that night. Uh, we've had prime ministers from other countries attend our events. We've had celebrities, a wide range, A-list, B, C-list. We've worked with everyone in the billboard charts. Uh, so we love what we do. And it's about having a passion for it, working with great people, and learning from your what, successes. What do you have special that others don't? Let's say Todd. He, he does uh, work and he does uh, events. He pr promotes. What differentiates you from uh, other uh, folks? Well, we have unique graphic designers that will digitally engage people. Mm -hmm. okay. We have huge email lists. So on okay. LinkedIn, I have over 17,000 connections. How do you develop that? Let's say someone wants to become one of you. They don't have a huge list. They don't have that. Where you, how do you get it? The way that you build up your list is uh, definitely 
learning from someone like myself, learning from one of your peers. Are you taking your apprentices to definitely. your wing? Yeah, definitely. Okay, I, nice. I always have uh, new people that we're bringing onto the team as mm -hmm. we have an event this Thursday, this Friday, this Saturday, and on Friday night we're working with the venue that we could fill up 2,000 people wow. at one time. So you constantly want to have the fashion crowd, you want to have the real estate crowd, you want to have the... Pardon you, me, you know. to slow you down, but on, or on the, when you mentioned fashion, on the last conversation that we had, a couple of other conversations, you mentioned that uh, not that many uh, events would like to see a fashion show. They'd rather have sell more drinks and the fashion show stops the uh, music and stops the uh, uh, selling alcohol. And the uh, venue would rather have no event, like no fashion show rather than a fashion show although they make more money yeah I mean there's always yeah. different challenges and obstacles that people face in this industry uh, so typically fashion events don't ring up well uh, mm -hmm. because people stop what they're doing they're not ordering food they don't want to buy drinks because they're looking at the beautiful models and the designs uh, so it's about bringing new ideas to the mm -hmm. table there are some New York Fashion Week events where they spend millions of dollars on the production and they get it, you know, all the Victoria's Secret, the fashion shows, those are seen by hundreds of millions of people. Um, so there are shows that are extremely profitable and mm -hmm. we are here in New York City right now. What in makes the, it profitable? What makes it profitable is sponsors? bringing out s sponsors or bottle buyers, people that want to be there. Uh, so what I like to do is I like to message everybody on Facebook so uh -huh. you see whose birthdays are coming up. They'll bring out crowds uh -huh. uh, for all of our attendees who are watching right now that are looking to get into the promotional world. Um, we're always hiring new promoters, so people in NYU, in uh -huh. Columbia, uh, kids who want to go out there and instead of, you know, we're able to pay for their books, you know, so you could earn money from bringing out your friends. Maybe you can't afford bottles now but you know other people. So just like how you have a long contact list of people that I don't know, likewise, I have a long list and all of the viewers out there, everyone has relatives or neighbors, mm -hmm. or you could learn by going to one of your competitors' events, finding out, oh, did they go on to a meetup website? Are they using how one of the social media you tools? You go to a competitor event. I, I have done that and then others, competitors done this to me. I didn't feel easy. It's It takes guts to go to where you're not invited. Like a wherever. Well, uh -huh. you know, there, there's a way to be invited, but you know, I'm going and I'm buying food, I'm buying mm -hmm. drinks, and I have open door policy to everyone at my events. Okay. Uh, so likewise, people treat me with respect and they're happy to see me as I'll help promote their event, help shine a bright light on their sponsors. Uh, nowadays, I think that people are done just dumping their money onto the Facebook advertising and onto all these, you know, Google advertising where you might give them thousands of dollars, but you want to see ROI. You want to see a return on your investment. You right. want to see, uh, for example, I've given thousands of dollars to be in specific magazines for my business and I never got one phone call or email from being in that magazine. So it's a lot of trial and error seeing so what works. Being in a magazine does not, did not, did, have not worked for you in the past? No. I haven't been, I guess, in the right magazine. So that's a learning lesson to myself. Mm -hmm. um, so it definitely did not come Is there easy. Like, not indirect maybe a benefit of being in the magazine? Or you don't see that, uh, you disappointed with that particular media? I would say is that magazine is more for branding than it is for actual mm -hmm. return on your investment. If right you're now, looking for people that are going to plan their weddings, plan a fashion show, plan their corporate function. So I have access to thousands of locations around the world. We've planned events in Ghana, China, How Aruba. How do you get this uh, access? I tried to call a number of uh, places and they've been very... Uh, uh, we don't want a new event. So it's only people who really know me and uh, don't work with me in the past. Somehow we have kind of a personal relationship invite me to produce event there. Otherwise, uh, I'm, I'm not getting through the door. And that's why you have to go at them at the right angle. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to provide for them, letting them know you're going to help bring out new people to their venue, new sponsors uh, because of the beautiful models that you work with or because of mm -hmm. your name, your reputation, your YouTube following. Um, that will help bring out old attendees. So there's venues that I've worked with for 10 years. 
Um, and sadly, there are some that have gone out of business. And now there's a new owner, there's a new general manager. So mm -hmm. it's constantly letting them know is that we're here to boost your sales. We're here to assist your business grow. We're going to uh, market, for example, the event that we have on Friday. We need 2,000 people. My team, we've been instructed, we're marketing this to 200,000 people. That way, if a fraction of the people who we marketed to attend our event, fabulous, we'll see them on Friday. And if not, now we're in the front of their mind. Now when they're planning their birthday, their 50th, or a corporate function, they usually come to us to organize it. Let me turn the conversation one more direction. Uh, you've been a promoter, great promoter, but some people are, let's say, producing events. You not went in that direction for a particular reason. Why you are really promoter, but not the producer. Why you choose that path? Sure. Well, for me, uh, I, I've been every type of role within this events industry. Mm -hmm. So you definitely start on the bottom <laughs> where you're just marketing anything you could get your hands on. Um, and it got to the point where I knew a lot of the event organizers. I knew a lot of the venue owners. I started meeting a lot of the sponsors. Um, and for me, it was just pulling a lot of the strings together. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm definitely a full-on event producer, marketer. Um, I've hosted all different types of events. So we have a wide range of celebrities that we've got functions with that are open to the public as well as private events. Um, but I would definitely suggest for everyone to give it a try, whether it's hosting an event or you never know who you're going to meet. I so see. the more emails you send off, the more Facebook posts you put out, the greater your audience will be and the more people will want to be attracted to what you're doing as we are in the land of opportunity there's about five thousand bars within a three mile radius of where we are right now um, so you know people want to know why would they choose us why will they come and that's because of our wonderful attendees mm -hmm. uh, people want to be where their friends are where you might have a social influencer so we've had members who have millions of pinterest followers or uh, millions of YouTube hits, um, people who are actively trending, someone that you could learn from. It could be a beautiful girl or it could be a gentleman who we work with. His name was uh, Eric Legrand. Very sadly, he was paralyzed. Um, and most people would give up at that point. But we built an entire event around him where he has now raised millions of dollars for people who are fighting rare diseases and ha who have spinal injuries. So I think that it's about giving people hope knowing that there's always another day tomorrow. So if something at an event doesn't go perfectly, for example, I had a DJ this past weekend cancel on me the day of the event because we marketed him out to hundreds of thousands of people. Another owner gave him a call, offered him a few more bucks, and sadly that DJ shot was thinking short term and not long term. And he How do you deal with this? Exactly. You have a back, so backup DJ, you have, look, you know, people get sick, people get hydra, you always have a, a backup plan. You always have to have a backup plan as you never know what's going to happen. Someone might break their arm on the way, they might get into a car accident, uh, God forbid something bad might happen. You always need to be ready, mm -hmm. need to know is honesty. It, it will take you to further places. Are you open for the mergers, acquisitions, if let's say a major big corporation invite you to uh, join their crew? Are you looking into the uh, those options or are you just want to stay on your own? I am definitely open to all opportunities uh, every day. The name of my company is Success with Teamwork. And what I... Are you planning to acquire smaller, like maybe operations uh, to, uh, inside of your operation? We're not you, looking to acquire to anything, but it's, it's more about creating partnerships. So it could be a marketing partnership. It could be uh, a hotel group. It could be we're going to be on a radio actually on Wednesday. Uh, so they're advertising our events. We're putting on their DJs. They're helping us get out more dancers and creating graphic design contests. Okay. What gives you the best uh, jobs? Is that you are personally uh, when you make a phone call or go for the appointment? Is that uh, when you do the advertisement, your branding? How, how do you get your best gigs? Is that a, like a combination of things or it's like there is one particular path that you prefer to others? Email? For me, Facebook? for me, what's been the most effective is just like yourself, it is referrals, is word of mouth, is when people actually attend our events. For example, this Thursday, we're giving away some free appetizers. 
Uh, we've had some belly dancers coming on. We have a wow. few celebrities joining us. So we like to keep it a little edgy, a little different. Um, and when you have an electric violinist or it could be a, a bongo player, um, a singer who's going to come out, you hear the song being played and all of a sudden a wonderful, beautiful gal comes out and is actually singing it live. You're leaving people with an experience, with something, a memory that they will never forget. Uh, so that's what we try and do is help make dreams become reality. And I hope to continue doing this every day till the day I sadly pass away is leaving people happy memories. When you bring people together, magic truly happens. Uh, so we've run events with the biggest companies in the world as well as with startups. Uh, and for me, it's just leaving people happy and wanting more. And when you go above what's promised, that's when you're going to give me your brother's phone number, your sister, your neighbor. Uh, so for all of you out there that are learning, that want to grow your lists, my advice to you is go out there. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So make that phone call, submit those posts. Go out there on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. I mean, there are so many outlets out there. Find which one works for you, depending on your location, depending on your demographics. Some people are going after specific ages. There is every type of idea out there in the world. So there's bars for cats now. There's bars for dogs. There's bars, parties going on for children. So they're hiring kids DJs, kids dancers, and wow. they're profiting so a different. tremendous amount. Just like we've done bingo events, we've done fashion shows, we've done events where models like the ones you have downstairs, people could buy the clothing that they're wearing. We've done date auctions Turkish. where if you see a beautiful girl and you want to ask her out, do that for charity. Um, so, you know, we've worked with a tremendous amount of companies. We've seen companies raise over 30 million dollars in a day from an event so what we do is extremely effective we've helped marriages happen so people meet at our events and they find their loved ones um and you know yeah. it's just uh, that's true you know yeah, it's just wonderful. amazing I, I what you see those. We, we got quite a few of those and that's always uh, a happy moment when you see them later hey, clients for life they come to your events, they hire you for the weddings, for the bar mitzvah, birthdays, the bris, all those things. I, I just done a couple of those for my uh, clients. You know. Like we're doing a model search for uh, different models from around the world. So to me, it doesn't depend on your ethnicity, your race, your religion, where you were born. All that matters is your heart. How much hard work are you willing to put in? Because while I'm sleeping, my competitors are out there hustling. So sounds like Mike Mark Cuban. <laughs> In that sense. Okay, yeah. guys, we kind of uh, have to wrap it up. So hopefully to keep it interesting, uh, tune in for next uh, segment with Ryan. Hopefully he will come back uh, again and again. And uh, hopefully if you like this episode, uh, give us a note. Uh, you see the subtitles. Uh, you can write to Ryan your question. Uh, so next time when we uh, do interview with him, uh, Ryan will answer. And uh, you can always uh, uh, hire Ryan for, for your promotional uh, needs. Well, thank you guys for watching and looking forward to future opportunities and events together. And thank you guys. And please, if you like what we share today, share it with your friends.